Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. It's been a long time since I've sat down and played with some new makeup. In today's video, I have a bunch of new K beauty products that I'm going to try out. So let's get into it. First, I'm going to start off with skincare and I want to show you this really cool um, product that I was introduced to by my aesthetician friend. These are the Dermasense High Prime Collagen Film. It's won a lot of awards in Korea for its innovation and I'm going to show you like something really cool. So basically it's these collagen sheets that you apply into your face and you spritz like a collagen mist over and it gets absorbed immediately. It comes in like three different um, packs that you can get. So one's for your eyes or you can use it for your smile line. You can get one for your cheek and your forehead or neck. They come in boxes like this and you can get like a pack of five and then the collagen mist and it contains 93.9% .9 collagen. So it's gonna really help nourish the skin and moisten it. I'll show you on my forehead first. So basically what you do is you mist this. Just kind of like wet the skin. Just gonna like tap that in. I want my skin to be a little bit like sticky so the film can adhere to it. Open and that's the sheet here first i'm gonna like peel off this transparent film on it and then place it on my skin and because it's tacky it kind of just sticks there and then there's this woven layer that i'm gonna try to carefully peel off in one piece i'm like a power ranger right now Ta-da! so once it's on i'm going to spritz on the collagen mist again and you can watch it get absorbed into my skin i get so excited about this okay ready bit more did you see that it was like magic and I'm just gonna like quickly just tap that in how cool is that it actually gets absorbed really quickly into the skin and it contains like pure collagen the stuff that gives your skin the elasticity and the bounce so as you age you lose that collagen so something like this is really quick and easy to use it's perfect for pregnant mums or if you're breastfeeding so I can use it and you see how quick it was? Like it's so quick to use. It's not like one of those like 10, 15, 20 minute masks that you put on. So you can actually use this like two to three times a week to see really nice results. Like afterwards, I feel like my skin is a lot calmer. It's smoother, it's glowier. So normally I would just do my whole face and apply all the strips and then do like one spritz and then done. So cool. Zen's like, wow. So I'm gonna quickly just do the other pieces on my face and hopefully this little spot here will calm down a little bit. I'm looking a little bit crazy right now, but watch, watch the magic again. You can see afterwards it leaves this dewy glow on my skin. It is a little bit tacky, but usually if you want, you can apply like an actual sheet mask on top to help further lock in the collagen or your normal skincare on top. So I usually get my sheets from unigoshop.com. I have a discount code with them. So if you guys want 10% off their store, you can use my code TINA10LOVE. And look, you can see that the collagen mask helped to calm this little guy down. For foundation, I got this new one from Clio. It's the Kill Cover Seeker Serum Cushion Foundation with SPF, SPF, SPF 50 plus. The color I got was their darkest color in ginger. So hopefully that will match my skin tone. Usually I'm like shade number 23. 21's a bit too light for me. So this is supposed to be like a lightweight hydrating formula. Good for sensitive skin and it's supposed to add that moisture into your skin. It's got hyaluronic acid and Sika extract. It also helps to whiten the skin. I think they mean like brighten the skin and help with like wrinkles. So it's got anti-aging properties. So I like to just focus on the center of my face first and just that's the areas I need more coverage. And then I'll just blend it out with a puff. Now that I'm mum, I feel like cushion foundations are so much easier to use and they're just a lot quicker because you know, everything's just there. You don't need to get like a separate brush. You don't need to dampen your sponge. I'm just all about that efficiency and speed these days. So I feel the color's looking pretty good. And then I'll just go over my eye area just with like the little layer that's remaining on my puff just to cancel out any of that discoloration on my lid. Okay, so right now I'm looking like a shiny egg, a very shiny wet egg. I'm going to move on to concealer and then I'm going to like powder 
this. I don't want this to slip and slide all day, especially in Singapore weather. So I realized that with my foundation, I didn't get the darker shade. There's actually shade number five, which is darker. For concealer, I'm gonna try out this Bling Glow Mix Match Concealer. I believe this is made by a Korean makeup artist. It's got four different shades, so you can color, correct, and also conceal with this. I'm gonna use this dark light peach color. Why is it called dark light peach? And there's dark medium peach. It's dark but light. So this kind of reminds me of the MAC concealers, like you know those cream concealers. I haven't actually used a cream concealer in so long. I usually just opt for a liquid, but I thought I'd do something different today. I'm gonna mix these two colors together just to knock out that little red spot a little bit more. I don't know around my nostrils. Real sexy, I know. With this concealer, I'm not really loving the formula. I don't know, it's just kind of like drying and it's not meshing well with my cushion. So I'm just trying to, trying to make it work. I think I'd have to use like something a bit more like mattifying, like as a base and then this on top. But right now, it is what it is. I don't have a K-Beauty powder. I'm just using my um, Benefit Silky Mattifying Powder. But I'm only gonna use like a little bit. I'm just gonna use a brush to just gently pack this in. I don't want everywhere to be matte. Just my oily areas. And then the areas that I'm going to contour later. And my eyebrows. <laughs> Pretty much everywhere except my high points. I should've just said that, guys. I have two new brow products that I got. One is this Clio Kill Brow Dual Tattoo Pen Set. And then this one is a brow pencil from Rom and, Rom and? Or is it Rom and ND? I don't know, but this is the brand. I've never heard anyone actually say the name. So I'm like, I don't know. Do you guys know? Let's just try the tattoo one first and just see what it looks like on my head. It's literally like a tattoo liner. Maybe I can use it a little bit after. That's a little pencil. It's just got that thin tip there. And then in the middle, it actually opens up and there's the little powder you can use. And then of course at the end, there's a little spoolie as well. So I think my game plan is I'll fill my brows in with this and then maybe before the ends of my brows, I'll use the tattoo pen. So I'm just gonna like fill in my brows. Then I'm just gonna use the powder just to fill in any gaps. This brow is looking good. It's quite nice and natural. I'm kind of scared to use the, the tattoo pen. It comes with a little eraser, guys, so I can remove it if I don't like it. Oh, there's actually two ends. The pen actually has two sides, so a thin tip side, and then, I don't know what to call this side. It looks like a marker. Like a highlighter, yeah. I'm gonna use the pen for the tail of my brow. Then I'll go back in with that concealer and just clean it up a little bit. Okay, so my brows are done. Not bad, the brow combo, but I think I like the brow pencil better. The brow tattoo pen, it's just a little bit intimidating. It's a little bit heavy, so you gotta be super light-handed with this. Let us contour, baby. This contour is from I'm Mimi. There's four shades inside, and I like that because I can just kind of mix and match and even use it as eyeshadows. I'm gonna like go with the lighter shade first. Load that onto my brush. Just swirl the excess off and kind of get an even layer on there. And then just use this to gently contour my face. So I'm just gonna go in with a lighter shade all around first and then I'll build up the intensity with the other colors afterwards. Next I'm gonna go in with this shade and then I'll just deepen up my contour a little bit. But keeping this like a little bit more concentrated in the center of the area, whereas the other color, I kind of diffused it out a little bit more to blend in with my base. And then I'm just gonna blend these two just to add a little bit more depth, not too much though. For my nose, I'm just gonna blend these two shades in. I'm gonna start off where my brows are and just kind of bring that down so it looks like I've got like a higher nose bridge. And then 
just start blending in the sides and then I'll just do my tip a little bit and a little bit on my nostrils as well just kind of make them look a little bit more is that a word snatched snatched yes the equals snatched I'm gonna make a button nose today I'm just doing a little line across here I'm feeling cute today and then using the same shades, I'm just gonna like contour my eye as well. Just kind of making it look a little bit deeper underneath as well. Okay, okay, okay. For highlighter, I got this one from Petty Petta. Zen made sure I said it right. It's got three different shades in here. They have a contour one that's kind of like in the similar shape, but they have this new highlighter one. I'm gonna use the first pinky color for my cheekbones. Ooh, can you see that? Wow, did not expect, wow. That is looking highlighting. Wow. Then I'll use the little gold one for the tip of my nose. And then just like in the center here where my nose bridge is. That glow. Moving on to my eyes, I'm gonna be using this Pura Pera. Petty Petty Petta. Petty Petty, petty, petty. Why, do I, why does my voice why go so it? high when I say peri, pera, pe, 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 petty, petty, For eyeshadows, I'm using this petty, petty eyeshadow. That sounds so weird. Doesn't that sound so weird? It's quite pretty, this palette, and it's just like this long block. These are the colors in here. They're all like cool tones. They're a little bit more muted. I hardly do cool tone makeup. So I thought I'd get this palette and just kind of step outside my comfort zone a little bit. This first shade here, I think it'll be perfect for just contouring the eye and just getting a general shape. It just makes it look like my natural shadows. Then I'm gonna use this shade here I'm just going to do a wash of that all over my lid. And then pop some on my lower lash line. Next I'll add some depth using this shade. Colors are blending really nicely, and I don't have, actually have to pick up a lot of the eyeshadow. I think it is quite pigmented. There's no fallout, which is great. For the center, I'm gonna pop on this shimmery, glittery shade. Ooh, I like that. I like the glitters in Korean makeup because they're generally a bit more spaced out and they're not like like a metallic, if you know what I mean. It, it just gives off this like really nice wet look almost on the eye. Mm. I'm gonna use the last color to just map out my liner. A really popular trend at the moment is that eye bag look. What do you call it, Zen? Egg yolk style. Sounds like egg yolk style. So basically you kind of contour or create like a bag under your eyes so your actual eye shape seems bigger. I don't know, it reminds me of like anime eyes or it gives you that cutish look. So how to do that, you grab like a flat brush, use like a contour shade or like a matte cool brown shade. And then you kind of want to like do this and I can kind of see like there is my little eye bag. I'm gonna kind of map that out and follow the natural shape of it. And so when I relax, you can kind of see I'm left with a little bag right there. So kind of like half smile, squint your eyes a little bit. Okay, I just did that one way lower. It's okay, we're gonna just go for it. I look very tired at the moment, but this is, it's just a part of the process. Now we're gonna highlight that bag. So I'm gonna add that same shimmer shade with like a little pencil brush. So I'm just gonna squint my eyes and apply that shimmer shade on my eye bag. 
So that's my eye bags done. I'm just going to do like my bottom liner now, just with that dark shade. And I'm just doing this like on the end, maybe like two thirds of the way. Now I'm just gonna finish off my eye makeup with eyeliner and lashes. For liner, I'm using the Kill Cover Liner in brown. This one isn't new, but it is a really good liner. For lashes, I'm using a new one. If you guys didn't know, I'm rebranding Petite Cosmetics at the moment, so this is like a quick sneak peek. So we have new packaging and we're now known as the Petite Club. And this style here is called XOXO. We haven't officially launched yet, but you know, stay tuned for that. So this is what it looks like on my eyes. Stay tuned for the relaunch of the Petite Club when you can get these. <laughs> for mascara, I'm using this one from Neogen. It's the Extra Slim Metal Maxi Cara in black. Oh my god, it's so long. I didn't think it'd be this long. Look at it. It's like almost the size of my face. I think this is like the longest mascara I've ever, I've ever bought. It's actually one of those like screw mascaras. I've tried one of these types a long time ago from Hourglass and I think this one is a little bit slimmer. So I actually bought it so I could use it on my lower lashes because it's so slim. Oh wow, it's actually really good for my lower lashes. I don't know how it would be with like top lashes. I don't know if it will hold your curl or not. But if you want to use it for lower lashes, I think it's quite good. It does separate the hairs or the strands quite well. And I'm actually going to apply it to the root of my natural lashes to sandwich my natural lashes with the falsies. Can you guys see the difference? So that's both sides done. I think this is really good at kind of just separating and applying an even coat to small areas. It's not bad. It's just really long. For lips, I have this fun lip tint from Mary Monde. These are like cherry heart lip tints. Look how cute the packaging is. It almost looks like a toy. So there's three shades, vivid red, brick red, and orange coral. This is like so tiny, guys. Oh my god, is that not like the cutest little wand ever? That's the three shades there. I think for my makeup look, the middle one is going to work best. So that's brick red. Now before I do that, I'm just going to show you this little trick. I like to just apply a bit of like eyeshadow on top here where my cupid's bow is. Pick a shade that's similar color to the lipstick and then apply a little bit underneath. This is if you want to make your lips look bigger. So I've just popped it on the center because I feel like I don't want to take away from the cool tones and I've just blended a little bit more of that shadow around the edges of my lips. The tint isn't very hydrating, I'd say it's more drying, it's a bit more mattifying. But hey, they're just like super cute and don't take up a lot of space at all. I didn't get a blush guys, so I'm going to use the shadows. I'm going to use this shade that I used before on my eyes as blush. actually looks really nice as a blush. I'm digging it. So this is my final look. What do you guys think? It's been a while since I got glammed up on camera. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Overall, I think my latest K-Beauty haul was a big hit. The only products that I didn't love were the concealer. I feel like I need to use it with a different sort of foundation base and the tattoo brow pen. It's just a little bit more like a, of like a marker. And so if you use it heavily, it will give you that market eyebrow look. 
I'd say my top three products would be the eyeshadow palette. I really like the colors, the contour and the highlighter. I love how these have different shades. You can customize it to your skin tone and look. Also the mascara, I do like this. I don't really love the long packaging, but it is interesting and it does work well for lower lashes. And obviously my lashes that will be launching soon. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos that I post and I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye!